Okay, so one of the things I really, really hate is getting stuck in a tree. You know, if I crash and I break my frame, if I break a motor, break the camera, I can always fix it. But getting stuck in a tree can be a major problem. I mean, if you're up 20, 30, 50, 80 feet up in a tree, it can be very difficult getting that thing down. I've known people who have lost their, their quads permanently up in trees, and especially if you've got a GoPro or something like that attached to it, it can be an expensive loss. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that you can do to significantly decrease the chance of actually getting caught in a tree. So the first thing that you can do is set your quad so it'll arm at any angle. So by default, I think you got about 25 degrees uh, to be able to arm your, your quad, and if it's tilted more than 25 degrees, it won't arm. So what I've done is I've set my quads to arm at any angle. The idea being that if you're stuck up in a tree, you can spin your props, arm it, and just maybe shake it loose. And I've uh, successfully done that a number of times. So to do that, we'll get into beta flight. Plug in the quad. And we go into the CLI and we type set small underscore angle equals 180. That's it. And then we type save. And now the quad will arm at any angle. So that's fantastic. So the next thing that we can do, and this is the most important one, is uh, let's say um, you're going at a tree and what can I use as a branch? Here, how about a branch? So you're flying along and most of the time I hit a tree either head on or backwards while I'm doing a flip. Very rarely do I hit it sideways. Flying along, your props are spinning and what ends up happening is you hit a branch and your props actually suck your quad in to the branch and hold it there. And even if you use that trick of arming at any angle, all it does is suck the quad harder and harder to the branch. And so it's really easy for your quad to get stuck in a, in a tree because literally it reaches out and grabs branches. So what we can do is reverse the props. So when you are coming out a tree and your props are spinning this way it actively pushes away from the branch and then if you do actually get stuck in a branch like that arming and spinning the props will actually help push it away and I've got a couple of quads set up with reverse props and I can tell you it makes a big difference uh, I've got a couple of quads that still don't have reverse props and I'm going to do it to this one so you guys can see exactly how to do it. It's super simple. So the first thing we do always is we get rid of our props. Because we're going to plug a battery in and we're going to spin the motors up and we don't want to lose a finger. It really only takes about 30 seconds to get rid of your props. So. It's definitely worth it. Just a couple of weeks ago, a friend of mine split his finger open when he was hit by a prop in the finger. All right. We plug in. Oops. And we load up BL Heli Suite. Let's plug the battery in so we can power up the ESCs. Get rid of this branch. And we connect. Read setup. Okay, so if I go into my ESC overview, I can see ESC 1 is normal, 2 is reversed, 3 is reversed, and 4 is normal. So we want to reverse those. So we're going to go reverse, 
normal, normal, reverse. So number one, we're gonna go reverse. We'll save that. Number two, and I'm right clicking on these here. We're gonna go normal. Number three, normal. Number four, set it to reverse. There we go. Now we'll go in and check our motors. So my props are off. So a good way to check your motors is to put a little piece of painter's tape on so it's really easy to see which direction it's going, but I just spin them up like this. So that's spinning that way. That's spinning that way. That's spinning outwards. And that's spinning outwards. All right, so my props are all going in the right direction. Now, there's one more step we have to take because you can't just reverse your props like this because your yaw won't work properly because your flight controller relies on your props directions to be able to yaw left or right. So what we need to do is we need to go back into beta flight and connect. We go into the CLI again and we type set yaw underscore motor direction equals negative one. I'm going to type save. And that is it. So now when you put your props back on, <laughs> remember that you have to put them on reversed. So they have to spin outwards like that. You do them up, you take your quad outside, put it, you know, a good ways away from you. So if you've screwed this up, you don't get hit. Uh, arm it and try to fly and it should work. And what you're gonna find is it's gonna be a lot harder to get stuck in a tree. So I hope this helped. Enjoy.